So it's impossible to fool God because God knows your motive. The Word is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. And because God knows your intent, if you've got an intention of manipulation, God already knows it. So you can't fool God by saying, oh God, I just praise you, I just praise you, praise you, just so that you can try to manipulate a blessing out of God. He knows the intent. Praise changes the atmosphere. It changes the atmosphere. You walk into a room and things are cold towards you, but if you will walk in and learn to come in and start encouraging other people, start giving praise generally. Give it generously, but also genuinely, genuinely. Find something that is genuinely praiseworthy. And let me just tell you this, in most places that you go, in most families, in most businesses, people are not appreciated sufficiently. If somebody does something, they serve you, you'd be surprised at the number of people who never take the time to stop a person and say, you know, thank you so much for that. I've seen people in restaurants and that somebody will bring them additional water and they'll keep on in their conversation and will never acknowledge that person. If somebody has just served you, it really doesn't take a whole lot out of you to acknowledge that person with gratitude to say thank you. You know what, I, I, I appreciate you for, for really being on top of things here, that you know, you, you just have not allowed my glass to get empty one time. And I appreciate you for serving with such meticulous care, that you're such a, a person who gives attention to detail. Encourage people who are doing a good job. Praise them for the good thing that they are doing. Don't, don't make something up. Find something that is genuinely good about them and, and give it to them. Give it to them. Uh, encourage them with it. Because when they're bad things, people are certainly generous with pointing out their flaws, their criticisms, uh, with what went wrong. So always share that. I love it because praise, when we're talking about praise, praise is a weapon of war. It's a weapon of war. You know, God has given us, you remember David had, had five smooth stones in order to deal with Goliath? He's given us the name of Jesus. He's given us the blood of Jesus. He's given us the word of God. And he's given us prayer. And fifthly, he has given us praise. Praise is a weapon. It is a weapon. It is a weapon. It's a weapon. It has the ability to produce a revival on the inside of you. Praise is a weapon. It is a weapon. I'm telling you, the devil is allergic to praise. He just can't stand it when God is getting glory. It angers him. It's, it's almost like somebody being your hater. And then they're just seeing you having a good time, and they, they want to see you have a bad time, but you're having too much of a good time because you're saying, praise the Lord, the Lord has blessed me. And it really irritates your haters when they see you giving praise to God. Well, see, the devil is one of your haters. He's one of your haters. And so you have to be wise in using the weapons of your warfare. Use those weapons. I mean, he's given you the blood of Jesus. You've got to know how to plead the blood. You've got to know how to use the name of Jesus. You've got to know how to use the word of God. You've got to know how to use prayer. You've got to know how to use praise as a weapon.